Hi guys, this is Dr. Nadavid Kisa Felt. Today I want to talk to you about a topic which is very highly misunderstood, causes a lot of confusion, and I have received many questions about it. Lactose intolerance. Many people have lactose intolerance and they don't know it, and some people think they have lactose intolerance when in reality they don't. So let's start by defining what lactose intolerance is. Lactose is milk sugar. Lactose intolerance is when your body is unable to break down these sugars. When that happens, people experience symptoms like gas, bloating, abdominal pain, uh, rumbling in the gut, and inflammation. Lactose is digested in the small intestine, so these symptoms don't necessarily show up right after you take uh, milk or milk products. Sometimes it can take as much as an hour before you start experiencing the symptoms. Sometimes people confuse between lactose intolerance and milk allergies. It is important to differentiate between the two. They are two very, very different conditions. Lactose intolerance is when body is unable to digest milk sugar. That is due to lack, uh, lack of lactase in the body, which is the enzyme that helps digest lactose. Milk allergy, however, is when your, um, your body is unable to digest casein, which is a milk protein. Completely different thing. If you consume lactose-free milk products like lactose-free ice cream and you still have problems, you may actually have milk allergies and not, your, and not necessarily lactose intolerance. So the safest thing to do is to get tested to see whether you are lactose intolerant or allergic to milk and milk products. Most people who are allergic to milk usually outgrow these symptoms uh, with age, but some still continue to have these symptoms even as adults. So symptoms of milk allergies are more drastic than those of lactose intolerance. People can have swelling on the lips, mouth, tongue, face, or throat. Um, they can have skin reactions such as hives, rash, or red itchy skin. Um, they can develop nasal congestion right after consuming the product, uh, the, the milk, nasal congestion, sneezing, runny nose, itchy eyes, coughing, or wheezing. So if you're experiencing these symptoms after you consume milk, you may actually have milk allergies. So let's talk about why people might have lactose intolerance. Um, it can happen because of previous damage to the intestinal lining. This could be due to several reasons, such as extensive use of antibiotics, uh, overexposure to unhealthy food containing hormones, pesticides, preservatives, and other chemicals. Um, as I mentioned earlier, our bodies need enzyme called lactase to digest lactose. If the body is lacking in that, we can't digest these sugars. Sometimes with age, we start losing the enzyme. It is a gradual event. You don't wake up one morning and you're lactose intolerant. Usually it is a gradual process where the initial symptoms are mild and usually appear when you consume a large quantity of milk and with time it becomes more severe. Uh, another thing that contributes to developing lactose intolerance in a person is a weak immune system. Uh, if your body has gone through a major stress event and the immune system has been compromised, that could often result in imbalances in the body, including developing conditions like lactose intolerance. Um, quality of milk also plays an important part. Commercial pasteurized milk is harder on the body as opposed to organic milk from pasture-raised cows. Also, goat milk contains less lactose than cow milk, and it is easier on our bodies, so you definitely want to give goat milk a chance. So what can you do about it if you are lactose intolerant? First and foremost, take a good probiotic supplement. Probiotics help reset the gut bacteria, which in turn create the enzyme lactase, which helps digest lactose. You want to get a probiotic supplement, which has a wide range of bacteria to ensure you get the right strain you need. There are things you should avoid if you're currently lactose intolerant until you have reestablished your gut bacteria and your immune system is stronger. As a rule, you want to avoid milk products, which have a high sugar content. So if you look, um, 
let's say at a yogurt container and it says 10 gram of sugar that is 10 grams of lactose which is uh, which is uh, going to be heavy on your body and your body won't be able to digest and you will experience painful symptoms associated with lactose intolerance um, another thing you want to avoid when you are experiencing this is our processed cheeses um, yogurt milk cottage cheese um, these are things that are high in general in lactose not not all milk products are high in in lactose though at aged cheeses like um, cheddar swiss gouda parmesan are actually low in lactose comparatively so you won't experience severe sy symptoms especially if you're consuming low quantities um, of these cheeses um, so make sure to read the label before you use the product uh, or buy the product um, as I mentioned earlier, goat milk contains less lactose than cow milk. You can try using goat milk uh, products instead, like goat milk uh, yogurt, goat milk cheese, or goat milk in itself. Um, as a side note, I recommend giving goat milk to children as opposed to cow milk because it is closest to mother's milk in its nutritional value. And uh, in the long run, it does not stress the, uh, the system, the body system, as much as cow milk. Um, Bottom line is this, you can reverse your condition and actually be lactose tolerant again. All you have to do is give your body a break from milk and milk products for a few weeks. Meanwhile, take good probiotic supplement and focus on rebuilding your immune system. After a couple of weeks, reintroduce milk and milk products to your body in very low quantities and gradually increase the quantity and build up. I hope this helped explain the condition. Don't hesitate to contact me with your questions or concerns. Please subscribe to my channel and please share the video and like the video. I will see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.